What's going on guys and welcome to the 70 Xamarin Android tutorial. So uh, this video is just going to be a, a quick one do, to show you how to show, uh, you know, uh, display the profile picture of the Facebook user. So, you know, um, I was kind of fiddling around with it and just, just, you know, messing with the profile picture and just kind of get it, get it to get it working. And I noticed that it's some reason it's not as obvious as it, as I thought it would be. There's a, there's a few methods that you can use and there's, uh, and um, both of those, uh, all of them just weren't working for me and I was getting exceptions and, you know, I'm like, you know, there's got to be an easier way than this. So I finally found an easier way to, to upload the picture, which is super simple as, as long as you know how to, or, you know, to use that one and not the other. So I, I, you know, since it's not as obvious as I thought it was, I, I figured I'd upload a video real quick to show you how that's done. So um, here we are, you know, when, when we have nothing set and the user's logged out, it's going to show a default, you know, silhouette of a user. And as soon as you log in, it'll upload your uh, your logo and your your profile picture. So uh, there I am, yay! And uh, log out, and then it'll go back to the silhouette of this. Okay, so you know this is working the way we expect it to, and um, it's actually really simple. It's just you know this way is really simple, and, and some of the other ways weren't. So I decided I share this with you guys to make sure that you know to advise you to use this way since uh, I've I've tried it a couple of the times other ways and it just wasn't really working out for me. So. Um, this is what we're going to be working on in this video, setting the profile picture. All right, so the first thing we're going to be using is the is the profile picture viewer, which uh, is pretty uh, pretty handy. If you come over here into the documentation, you'll see that there is a profile picture viewer or view, which uh, has a few different constructors, and it's basically just a view that you can render inside of the AXML file. And it has a few different methods that you can use. So I'm only using a few, but just want to point this out to you guys. If you want to play with, play, play around with it a little more uh, after this video, then you know here's some documentation on it. So okay, going back over here. So the first thing we need is we need a profile picture view. And what we we'll do that is we'll actually declare it here. And it's going to act a lot like a like an image view. So just kind of play with it that way. And it's going to be coming from the of course the SDK. So what we'll do is. Uh, Facebook login widget and then we'll do profile picture view and then of course we just need to give it an ID as usual so we'll do something like profile pick and then I'm actually going to hard set the the values in which uh, the documentation says that it will conform to to your size so that's uh, that's always nice it will scale down if it needs to and I'm just going to do 100 by 100 and then I'm going to do the gravity so that way it is centered horizontally with the rest of my views as well. All right, so we got something going here look, looking good and that's really all we need to do is to declare it and that will actually instantiate it um, as soon as we get a reference to it. So come over here and then now we can come back over to our our C sharp code and we can do we can do profile picture view and then we'll do M profile pick and then down here when we're doing all the other find view by IDs we'll do that here as well find view by ID cast it to a profile picture view because that's what we have it inside of the XML file resource.id and profile Okay, so now we have a reference to our profile pic. Now we'll come down here, if you remember in the last video, we, this is where a lot of it happens when the profile changes, and this is where we want, this is our listener that will fire anytime the, the profile changes. Uh, if you're not familiar with what's going on here, just you know check out the last video, and this is where we implement this method. Okay, so uh, when it's not null, when there actually is a profile, what we wanna do is we want to do profile pic and uh, I guess just for safe measures, we can do a try catch here. Do that all that side there, and then you know, I'll just put a comment handle error. And then here we want to actually set the profile, uh, the profile ID. So as, as soon as we set the profile ID, the picture will then render. And it'll t the the SDK will take care of the rest for us. We just need to feed it the correct ID, and we can get that through you guessed it the profile. So we'll do profile and then ID, 
And then it's as simple as that. And that's uh, that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and, and copy this and copy and paste this over here. So this is when the when the user is logged out when it's null. Remember. So what all we need to do here is we need to set this value to null, and then since it's a null value, it'll automatically know to actually render that silhouette uh, image back to that when the user has has logged out. All right. Let's go ahead and double check this and looking pretty good let's go ahead and run it and test it so i mean yeah guys i was uh just kind of playing around with some stuff and i uh you know was having some trouble trying to render it and you not using this way of course and not and using something else in a normal image view and uh, i came across this and after reading the documentation and i'm just like oh cool you know this is a <laughs> this is a lot better it is basically literally just one line of code once you get it set up so uh, hopefully you find this uh, helpful if you're having some trouble with it as well all right so as you saw at the beginning of the video we have our silhouette because we're not yet logged in as soon as we log in cool the profile picture comes up and let's test the logout and it's looking good all right so uh, there you have it guys there's how to get the the profile picture uh, set up in our app and what's nice about it like I said it, it does render and it should conform to our to our size, which is uh, 100 by 100 is where I set it, but I'm sure you can kind of play around the values and, and get the best look that, that uh, you can get for your own app, all right? So uh, thanks for watching, guys.